And welcome back to Sports on Tap. This is Ed Dick live in Studio J with Rob Trotman, nice. Josh Jeffy, Sean Duffy is on assignment. He Gentlemen, is. we are talking about Division Two, Regions 5 and 6. This mm-hmm. is the second round of the playoffs, the second season, if you will. Um, the uh, is a particularly interesting matchup uh, between the co-champions of the Suburban League National Division taking on the champions of the Suburban League American Division. Hudson taking on Aurora uh, from Macedonia Nordonia Bullant uh, Stadium on Friday night. Uh, low scoring game. Uh, Hudson's defense and uh, both Hudson's and Aurora's defense held true to form. Um, you know, they both have potent offenses to a certain extent, but their defense is where both these teams make their money on it. And uh, Hudson's defense was uh, up to the task. Uh, Colt Pelé for uh, for Hudson, part of that three quarterback, uh, three headed quarterback monster that Hudson likes to roll out. He threw a couple touchdown passes. Uh, Bubba Arslanian um, actually tied the game in the third quarter. It was a seven to seven score. Uh, but just uh, right after, right afterwards, maybe forty six seconds after Bubba Arslanian ran in for a touchdown, uh, Colt Pelé quickly found. Um, uh, quickly found his receiver for a touchdown, and you know, that was it. Uh, Fourteen to seven was the final score. Um, Hudson, the Hudson Explorers, will advance to the Division Two Region Five final, uh, where they will take on the number three seed Warren G. Harding Raiders. Uh, they defeated the number two seed, previously undefeated Chardon, uh, forty-nine to thirty-one. Uh, so we're gonna have uh, you know uh, another uh, another potent offense with Warren G. Harding gonna take on the uh, the irresistible force that is the Hudson defense. Um, you know, Greg, uh, it, it took three plays in 46 seconds uh, for play to find Greg Maley to to uh, to end the game uh, to get the game winning score uh, for Hudson, and they were able to hold on. I mean, holding an offense like Aurora down with Chris Vanzo, Bubba Arcelanian. Um, you know, and Mac Austin, you know, Mac Austin had 15 of 26 passing for 162. Arcelanian had 12 carries for 84 yards and a touchdown. Uh, and then Chris, Chris Vanzo had five catches for 73 yards, uh, where, you know, Jackson Parker had, he, he's the, uh, second part of the quarterback of the quarterback had, you know, he had four carries for 22 yards, but, um, as Hudson was trying to run the clock out, he did make a key 10 yard run. To get a late, a late first down to keep the clock running, um, and then Colt uh, Colt Play was efficient. Uh, he was 13 of 21 for 204 yards and two touchdowns. Boy, would I love to see a bronze quarterback do that? Um, <laughs> and uh, you know the beat just keep the beat just keeps rolling on for Hudson. So congratulations to the Hudson Explorers. I, uh, Sean Duffy, I apologize that uh, <laughs> my uh, suburban league champion reigned uh, supreme over yours. Uh, but we'll, it'll be a great matchup next week. It's going to be uh, number four Hudson versus number three Warren G. Harding. That game will be next uh, this Friday night, 7:30. Kickoff is at Twinsburg High School. Now we'll shift it over to Rob for the uh, for Division Two Region Six, starring the Southwestern Conference. Wow, n- very nice intro there, Ed. Um, yeah, looking at uh, Division Two Region Six, it was uh, Avon Lake, number eight. Traveling to number four, White House, Anthony Wayne. This was played in Sandusky, and this was a tale of uh, two stories. As Avon Lake had 278 yards passing in this game. Anthony Wayne, on the other hand, had 233 yards rushing. The difference in this game, though, was turnovers, and Avon Lake fumbled three times. They lost all of them. Anthony Wayne fumbled twice. And they kept the ball. But it started with Anthony Wayne. They started with a Nick Schneider six-yard touchdown run to give them a 7-0 lead in the game. Avon Lake, though, would respond with a huge score. Quarterback Mark Pappas to wide receiver Jason Sullivan on a 44-yard strike. The kick after, though, was no good. And it was 7-6 Avon, or not Avon Lake. It was um, Anthony Wayne that led in the game. Then Anthony Wayne... They had the last laugh in the third quarter as they would score on a 52-yard touchdown run by Evan Brown. They made it 14-6, and surprisingly, with a high-potent offense of Avon Lake, that's how this game would end, 
14 to 6. The number four White House Anthony Wayne uh, team would win over the Avon Lake Shoreman, and uh, they move on to face the winner of Olmstead Falls or Westlake, which we'll go over in our Game of the Week segment coming up, which most of you probably know, but we're not going to give any spoilers uh, away right now. But uh, for Avon Lake, some stats, Tyler Nelson, 17 rushes, 75 yards. It was Mark Pappas, 21-32, 278 yards. Um, and he had some pretty good stats. He had the one touchdown but did have a few interceptions. Carson Toy, 10 receptions, 138 yards. And Jason Sullivan, six receptions for 113. Um, when we come back, uh, we'll have our game of the week for week 12. Um, which was uh, number seven Westlake versus number six Olmstead Falls in that semifinal game. Now back over to Ed, who has uh, some more playoff action over there. Yeah, we'll we'll take a look at Division Three, Region Nine. Uh, previously, uh, you know, friend of show, the Buckeye Bucks uh, participated in the, in this uh, in this region's uh, tournament. Uh, we'll start in Northwest Canal Fault Northwest, where Akron East, the number eight seed, previously upset undefeated Marlington. Uh, they took on New Philadelphia, who was a 17-14 winner over Buckeye. Uh, New Philadelphia had not won a playoff game until this year. They had, uh, they had gone 10 seasons without a playoff victory. And once you know it, now they have two playoff victories. Uh, New Philadelphia with a late touchdown, holding off Akron East 27-20. to The number five seed, New Philadelphia, the Quakers, are moving on to the Division Three Region 9 Championship, where... They got to face the winner of the Akron Holy War, part two between Akron Archbishop Hoban and St. Vincent St. Mary. This was a 2-6 matchup. And every time these two teams play, you have to throw the records out, uh, you know, much like much, much like many of the other big rivalries around the area. Uh, but the defending state champion, Archbishop, uh, Archbishop Hoban Knights, prevailed 21-7. They advanced to the Division Three Region 9 Championship. And New Philadelphia is going to go back to Canal Full Northwest, and they're going to they're going to battle the defending champions. Um, that game will be Saturday night at 7 p.m. at Canal, Canal Full Northwest High School. The number five seed, New Philadelphia, ten and two. The number two seed, Archbishop Hoban, eleven and one. Yeah, that'll be a tough game for New Philadelphia. But man, they, New Philadelphia has played some really good teams. Obviously, Buckeye. You know, they, they prevailed in that game and, and were really impressive in that one. And they just continue to play really good football at the right time right now. Yeah, and, you know, they, they got some help from a freshman quarterback. Um, you know, their top two quarterbacks get, were, were injured, and, you know, their freshman came in and let them right down the field. And, you know, a, a tough break for Akron East. They had, a, they had a great year out of the Akron City Series. Um, you know, you know it's always good, at least for the Akron area, when you have a, an Akron public school. Um, you know, you know, do well. You know, it, yeah. it, it'd be similar to you know what a Glenville or a Collinwood or any of the other uh, Senate Athletic League teams here in Cleveland would do. You know, that's what you like. That's what you see out of Akron East, and then Archbishop Hoban and Saint and Saint Vincent Saint Mary. You know, quarterback Danny Clark just recently committed to Kentucky. Um, yeah, after decommitting from Ohio State. Yeah, yeah. Didn't yeah. like the system. Didn't fit him you know the way he thought so he did committed and went to Kentucky which has a good program there for him so yeah I mean it's you know I mean I'm sure he'll get plenty of playing time you know pretty quick and uh you know but right now him and uh warning about Todd Sibley uh I believe is a, a, a pit recruit um they have uh they have some unfinished business um in division three region nine uh to ten to so it's gonna be a tough matchup for New Philadelphia uh but good luck to both the Quakers and the Knights as they uh, as as they do battle in Division Three, Region Nine. Well, thanks for that update, Ed. And uh, yeah, there's some really great playoff games. Um, but when we come back, we're going to take a short break. And when we come back, we'll go over the game of the week, which was uh, number seven Westlake, the Demons, as they went against a very original opponent that they're used to playing, and that's the Olmsted Falls Bulldogs. We'll give you that uh, recap when we come back and go over some other playoff matchups. When we come back, we're Sports on Tap. It's our Ohio High School football coverage. <laughs> 